Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. I am That Doll Guy and it has been a minute, you guys. <laughs> Busy AF. Uh, weren't the holiday something? Thanksgiving, boom. Christmas, boom. New Year's, boom. Uh, anyway, I know a lot of the, uh, the doll YouTubers and toy YouTubers have already gotten their videos out. You know, leave it to me, the doll guy. Always a day late and a dollar short. That's how I roll, people. That's all I have time to roll. But anyway, so speaking of the new year, I'm going to, this video is going to be dedicated to taking you guys um, into my doll resolution, if you will. Um, I'm going to be um, unveiling a situation with dolls that I've gotten myself into that some of you may relate to, some of you may be horrified to see. Um, I'm sure many of us are here or have been here. Um, anyway, so getting away from being true to who I was when I first started collecting in 2015, um, in jumping into any bandwagon or getting excited about any little playline thing that people had um, bought or anything I'd seen on IG or um, Facebook or um, any of those those social media platforms that had the newest thing, I just felt like I had to to, to jump on. And when I first started collecting collecting in 2015, I was always I always had a certain standard or a set of guidelines that would guide my collecting to ensure that space was never an issue or money was never an issue and just things like that. So today, tonight, <laughs> um I'm going to share with you, I'm going to pull back my doll issue and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to fix it, number one. But it all really stemmed from um, this new amazing doll line that I came across accidentally. And it really brought me back to where I was with why I liked what I liked. And so a lot of things you're going to see are just either were or are still concepts of what I was going to try to do with my some videos into the new year um, in consideration for the FTC and COPA and all that kind of silly nonsense. Um, I'm going to gear them towards adult collectors, obviously, but I still might make some of these concepts kind of be reality with some videos, just to kind of justify having this product that I bought for it, <laughs> or products, I should say. Um, anyway, so just hang in there. We're going to take a tour. You're going to be just horrified. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you more about what this stuff is, why it's here, how it got here, how I got out of control, and um, and what's next for that doll guy um, in this new age of FTC and COPA and just being more true to myself. So hang in there and hopefully I can make this video kind of um, make sense. So y'all, let's get started with where I began. This little nook <laughs> is my vintage Barbie cabinet and um don't mind some of the ladies with their clothes on but the girl that got me started on this crazy uh collecting is this one right here the dramatic new living barbie from 1971 or 1972 and i had intended to just get her with just one hair color i mean i'm sorry get her in every hair color the titian the brunette and the blonde and i was going to stop there but, of course, as you can see, the more I kind of learned about Barbie and researched Barbie and stuff like that, I kind of just, and the more I learned, I just kind of picked up more. And you can't see way to the back. Um, someday I intend to maybe take these gals out and just um, review them, show them to you, whatever. Um, but anyway, so this is my vintage doll closet. Um, some of you who know vintage might see some of the dolls back there that people talk about like there's a color magic hiding back there she is just the 1959 my favorite barbie repro number one not anything to get excited over but we have bubbles and swirls and ponytails oh my and um just a few you know here this this is um, a white ginger that i found um but anyway so and you know the high color american girl there's just there's um a googly-eyed midge kind of hiding in the back and a, there's a brunette number four and so anyway so when I first started collecting these dolls my rule was either because oh and there's also a an oxidized platinum TNT so my rules for collecting were always either um, they had to have uh, molded eyelash ridges or rooted eyelashes that's how I knew I would stay um, into the realm of just vintage and mod 
And with my budget, it wouldn't go um, very far. So I thought that it would stay under control. However, I have a knack for finding nice dolls for pretty cheap or piecing them together until I have a mint condition, all original doll. But anyway, so this is my, this is where it started for me. And then, oh, let's see where to go next. I, I don't know if I'm going to just show you in order of how my addiction got out of hand, but um, we'll just move up here and just show you a few other things. So um, I'm, I, I always have a knack for getting the signature dolls. Like I need to have the noted doll in every line. So there's a free moving Kara and there's a free moving Brad back there somewhere. There's uh, the first variant, um, the golden green Barbie with the big bouffant. Not big bouffant, but kind of like the more Olivia Newton-John hair as opposed to the fair faucet hair. But anyway, there's a Ben Leg Midge hiding back there. But <clears throat> there's um, Yellowstone Kelly, Julia. Then <laughs> for some reason you have the bling bling my scene, oh lord. And then we have um, Wild Hearts crew, goes on to my sewing styles. And then, of course, I discovered um, Flava's dolls, got into them, managed to find a good number of the um, the um, Flava's Choice Award dolls that were um, more released in Canada and um, overseas. So we didn't see them much here in our in the states. So I managed to find some of those that are more rare. So that's full of those. And then we go down here to. Now this is my fashionista space, but I'm not showing what's behind that door because that is the start of the new passion that I have. So there might be hints throughout the video though. But anyway, so this is my fashionista um, closet. What you see is actually this was jam packed and now it's very sparse and we'll talk about that. Then we move on to my, oh gosh, what do I have up here? One Modern Circle. Life in the Dream House are back there somewhere. Some old clones, my fresh dolls that I love, and um, you know, hiding in here we have our doubles of our fresh dolls. I'm telling you, it's a sickness. <laughs> doubles mint in the box, and then we're going to go and look at my mess. So here's where the mess begins with my caboodles of different outfits. They're not even packed well. They're just kind of thrown in these caboodles. So they have Ken clothes and Flavors clothes and Barbie clothes and Fashionista clothes and Mod clothes, vintage clothes, all these kind of clothes. So I started thinking this was a way to be organized. And um, then we have this little issue. <laughs> we have some vintage dream houses, fashion shops, Francie's house, and just kind of just houses and things dioramas i made but here where it gets here's where it gets hoardy so we have bags of unopened things that i bought this is just shipping stuff that's for things i'm selling whatever but anyway so we have um that's just a stack of old comic books i still have to box i used to be a big comic book collector and um that went to the wayside for dolls now so those are just packed away but um Look over here, clutter, clutter, clutter. Here we have some Polyfect Polys, which were going to be a concept or will be for a future video. Um, Charlie's Angels, the Jack Pacific. Charlie's Angels dolls, we have Lucy Lou and Cameron Diaz. There's Drew. <laughs> a My Scene, um, one of the 2002 ones. Bags of clothes. Some old superstars, oh lordy, Britney Spears, that's packaged up to sell. We have, oh, there's my um, country living home or something like that for Barbie. But on top, there's um, some Spice Girls, and then look at this. So we have, but he's cute. He's the dog trainer, Ken. But um, more clone stuff from dollar stores. My Barbie goes to college, hidden under more clones. Look at this hot mess. <sighs> more fashionistas, more fashionistas, more fashionistas. A whole caboodle of Ken's. My shoe caboodle. 
more outfit caboodles, accessories, jewelry, more fashionistas, some of the family babysitters ink. <sighs> One of the high color tennis players I found for $5 who has brighter eye makeup than the others, but anyway. <laughs> so you so you can see what I'm talking about when I say there's an issue. So, what am I doing? <laughs> I, and the, why is this all out? So I'm literally purging. I'm only keeping the very... Oh, wait. There's more. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot these. <laughs> these were all going to be part of a fashion show with the Sparkles Girls outfits. The back there laying down, you're going to find a, a spare fresh doll I was going to get rid of. Um, and there's just other stuff in the back that has a, that Dixie cup with a tissue in it to get to prevent dust to get in because there's a vintage uh, pearl Barbie necklace that's broken those are eardrops for my dog <laughs> god anyway so as you can see this is ri just ridiculously got out of hand so this is my bed which will be empty in a minute but um so you, do you see how this got out of hand and how we just got so far away from this. So, what's next? Let's talk about it. So, obviously, I have a huge dilemma on my hands. And um, so, what are we doing? Well, I came across a doll line. And I'm not going to spill the beans just yet. Um... But I do want to promote this doll line with future videos because it's wonderful. And um, I come across it accidentally on Facebook in one of the doll groups. <clears throat> and this doll was absolutely stunning. And um, and a limited uh, quantity made for this line, which makes them very special um, and unique. And um, I just fell in love with the faces and uh, the bodies and they're articulated and they're wonderful. So, um, what are we going to do? So I am literally, I never thought I'd see myself do this, but I am going to purge. I already have several things up, um, on sale on eBay. I have a, I sold a Shakira. I sold a banged, um, kissing, a banged, <laughs> um, a kissing Barbie with bangs from um, 1978 or something. Uh, um, <laughs> I am overtired. It is late as AF. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to go through all the stuff. I'm going to purge and sell off in lots a lot of these fashionistas. I'm going to keep just my very favorite ones, just my very favorite ones to do um, social media stuff and, and to just kind of dress up and do scenes and have fun with, whatever. <clears throat> keeping, um, I think, my sewing styles, um, keeping my one modern circle, keeping my, obviously my vintage. <laughs> Why would I get rid of those, right? Unless I had to. Um, <clears throat> just depends on the day. <laughs> it depends on what bills come in. Uh, <laughs> I know I can't say that with all this junk laying around. Um, but the clones, I want to do some videos on and then probably um, purge those as well. Um, but anyway, so I, I really want to make space. And I really want to kind of truthfully make some money off this stuff just so I can really invest more into this doll line that I'm just newly discovered that I absolutely love. Cannot say enough about it. Um, there might have been some clues in the video. I don't know. You might have seen a clue or two throughout the video as to where I'm going next with what I like to, um, what I'm going to be interested in. Um, I'm always going to have love for my vintage and my mod, for sure. That's not ever going to be an issue. Um, everything you see up that we saw up here, probably staying. Maybe a couple things going, but not much. Everything on the bed, mm, might be out of here. Everything on the desk shelf... Mm, like I said, I'm keeping like my my most favorite loved um, fashionistas that I just can't do without, um, and because they they work well with my sewing styles and and that kind of stuff. I'm keeping wild my Wild Hearts crew because I just love those anyway. They're kind of just a new innovative Mattel line that I really like. I feel like there's a, like finally quality put in. So apparently, Beauty Filter only to talk for three minutes. So, um, hmm. I left off the Wild Hearts crew, but anyway, <laughs> let's just kind of move on. So let's wrap this up. It is after midnight. It is like, I think, going on 1 o'clock. And um, 
I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. Uh, I all seven of you. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to just kind of, you know, just kind of go out with this video and say please tune in again next time. Um, I'm going to probably be trying to do some of my leftover 2019 concepts with um, Invasion of the Clones and um, just maybe like a few other things um, before I um, probably sell some of it, purge it so I can kind of really invest more space and money into this new line I want to kind of um, get into and promote. Um, but um, before we sign off, I just want to tell everybody, please have a happy and healthy new year. And let's just go into 2020 just with a renewed sense of treating other people with dignity, with kindness, with respect, and hope nothing but health and good wishes and good fortune on you and your family and my family and friends, my friends from Facebook, from Instagram, from YouTube, all of you, um, wishing you all nothing but the best health, happiness, and light, um, and let's just have a lot of fun. God knows it has been, the world has been heavy, so heavy, so thank God for toy channels, <laughs> for adult collectors, <laughs> but uh, hope to see you again as soon. If not, I don't blame you. <laughs> I, I, it is what it is, but you guys have a great night.